You think it's a game? You're listening to the sound come, come, come on. of DJ Max. Hey, yeah, what's up? It's DJ Mad Chicken in. Uh, hope you guys had an amazing weekend, week, month, or whatever you guys been doing. Today, I got something extremely special for you guys today. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create melodies with your mouth or uh, jacking melodies from another melody that's already been done. Um, it's, a, it's a very simple way. Uh, real quick, I just downloaded this plugin by Wave Arts. This one is called uh, Dialogue. It's a really cool uh, vocal... Uh, all in one, you know, it had it has a D hum, a D noise, um, D esser, filter, brick wall, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So make sure to go check it out. Wave Arts, uh, Dialog, really cool plugin. That's what I'm using to monitor my voice. And let's move on to it. All right, so let's create an audio track real quick. Mono, that's cool. And um, on this audio track, I want to select the input on, of the mic that I'm using, which should have selected uh, automatically, but it didn't, of course, because that's what it does. Oh, actually, it did. There you go. So uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to put a kick on this. Let's, uh, let's add an instrument track, Metrum, which happens to be my best, my favorite kick uh, VST. And here we go, is Metrum. So let's uh, create a loop over here. Put this on bar. Okay, it's already on bar. Zoom this in. And let's create a region by double clicking. And let's uh, double click on it. Move this to the side and go on. Let's go on G because I like the the way G sounds on, on this stuff. Go on uh, one fourth. Grab the line. Go on G, grab this line tool, and now we have our kick. So let's see what it sounds like. Okay, uh, definitely got to pick a better kick than that because that sounds like crappity crap. So let's go on house music, commercial electro, uh, commercial. Uh, okay, let's pick that. And if you guys have Metrum, uh, the way you get stuff on on uh, for it to go on key, like from CD, F, G, A, B, whatever, you got to go on MIDI and then you go to MIDI notes, pitch and select all. And now the keyboard is working. So, OK, so now we got the G note there. If you want to bring it down. Got, oops. Sorry about that. Undo. If you want to bring it down, select all. There you go. Active lower. All right. So now that we got our kick. So now, uh, what do I mean by creating a melody out of a out of uh, with your own voice and stuff like that? Well, you ever like been in the studio and be like, oh, I want to create this melody. Dun, 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 Whatever. And you're like, oh damn, I don't know how to play the piano. So how can I? I wish I could like you know instead of you know doing the tedious work of uh, looking for each key. How you know, why would a program would not be able to re recognize my voice and be able to just make it into MIDI? Well, Cubase actually can. And, you know, for those of you that know how to do this already, then whatever. For those of you that don't, this will be a really cool um, uh, tutorial. So the first thing you got to do is obviously record it. So I'm going to hit the command, um, not command C, the options, option, the shortcut C so I can hit the click. Actually, I don't need a click because I have the kick. And I'm going to hum a melody. So here we go, check it out. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty stupid. But uh, you know, for the sake of the video, that's what we're doing. Let's make this a little shorter. And let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty funny. So the next thing you got to do is uh, it's go into, you know, double click on open editor and then go into very audio 2.0, which doesn't matter 2.0, 1.0, whatever. The point is uh, go to very audio and then this option right here called pitch and warp. Hit that right there. And then all these little thingies going to pop up. Uh, the next thing you want to do is select them all by control all 
I mean command A, I'm sorry, and then quantize pitch, put all the way to the top so it could, you know, lock to its to the to the pitch that it's supposed to go. And once you do that, the now you, what you want to do is extract the MIDI from this. So you want to go here, extract MIDI. When you hit that, you you know, it gives you options what you want to do. In this case, I only want to extract the notes, pitch flexibility, but that doesn't matter. Velocity at 100, new MIDI track, or you could uh, put it into the first selected track or project clipboard. Um, in this case, I'm going to put it on the project clipboard, which will be basically cop, you know, when you copy and paste. So I'm going to hit OK. So now it's in the project clipboard. And then the next thing I'm going to do is create an instrument track and load up one of my favorite synths, which is Spire. Next thing you want to do is, you know, look for a, for, you know, a cool, for a cool synth. So let's use that super loud. Sorry about that. So now that I did that, remember I have the I have I I copy the the MIDI into the clipboard to the clipboard. So all I gotta do is paste it, and it's right there. So let's see what it sounds like. So it sounds really really cool. Now understand that, you know. You know our tone of the voice you know for example a guy like myself i don't know how to sing so i'm not able to hold the pitch uh, of the notes as well as a person that will be able to uh there's a there's no, the notes how to sing so if you know how to sing you're able to hold down the 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 pitch on the notes of the melody that you're humming this will work the best uh, but in this case what you, what you got to do is just go inside the midi now that you have it and just fix it uh first thing i want to do is quantize it Okay, and uh, that was a bad quantize because I have it on one fourth, put it on one sixteenth, and now I quantize it. Basically, what you got to do is, you know, being in fact, you already know the melody in your head. Uh, you kind of have to fix the mistakes that the, that the computer did because, again, going back to what I said a few minutes ago as far as uh, holding down the notes and the pitch and depending if you know how to sing or not or whatever the case may be. So if I put it together with the with the vocal that I did, it's gonna sound very similar. Let me just lower the volumes real quick. So that's how you create a melody out of humming something out. Now the next step that I want to show you guys is how to jack a melody from a, a, a song or something that's already created. Let's say, for example, you're creating a remix and you don't know how to play the piano. You, you, you think it's a game? You're listening to the sound come, come, come of DJ Max.